Hi, this is Yifan, Product Manager for Microservice Field Software. I would like to introduce you to some of the features and changes we have done for this new release. Starting in Field Genius 8, all features previously in the advanced module, except for the loading package, will be available for free to all users, which includes surfaces, areas, and volumes related features advanced calculation options, slope and alignment staking, and video streaming for point scanning. We believe these changes can empower our users with a more complete Fusion experience. Now let's go see some of the new features we have added. One of the biggest change in Fusion S8 is a redesigned GNSS local transformation routine. Featuring an all-new and easy-to-use workflow, the ability to export and import localization files, easier management of control point pairs, and Helmer transformation, in addition to the plain similarity, the new localization routine will make your job set setup a lot easier. Advanced point averaging is a new feature in Fusion S8 that allows you to take multiple temporal measurements in addition to the original point measurement using either total stations or GPS receivers. All of the temporary measurements can be reused at any time and do not cluster point database. You can look at the statistics of each measurement, select the best ones, and calculate the average position for better accuracy and reliability. We have been improving the XF support in the last few service packs. To continue that effort, we have added the support for blocks and extrusion vectors, as well as improved circles and other entity types. Their status will also be honored with settings exported from the CAT program. We're hoping these changes, along with other behind-the-scenes enhancements, will make the DXF import more smooth and reliable. Also in this release, we have added the support for the electronic bubble which utilize the inertial sensors in the supported GNSS receivers to compensate for the antenna pole tilt. With a proper calibration process, this feature can improve the GNSS point collection by automatically compensate for vertical and horizontal distance offsets introduced by the tilted survey pole. It eliminates the need to focus on the conventional bubble on the survey pole while taking measurement. In addition, it can stop users from saving points if the tilt angle is greater than the set tolerance level. The interface for Field Genius has been translated to many different languages over the years, but users can only use ASCII characters in many areas. We're happy to announce that Field Genius 8 now supports Unicode encoding throughout the program, which includes point database fields such as descriptions and notes, Bluetooth, Entrib or instrument profiles and settings, exported files, and a lot more. This means our international users can truly use their own language while using Fugenius. For total stations, we have added a basic measure screen to all onboard Fugenius builds, which allows users to take quick angle and distance measurements without even creating a project. Updates to angular position enables the selection of different level of position controls. In addition, we have improved the target and EDM management, resulting in a faster measurement for every single shot. Fugenius has been supporting GIS attribute for points for a while. Now we are expanding that capability to line works and figures. The addition of default and previous setting buttons greatly improves overall efficiency for GIS data collection. For a routing module, we have added a new alignment toolbar, which allows easy navigation between different alignments and the road manager. You can also easily view the station offset cut and fill information on the observation toolbar, as well as the point database for the points with respect to an active alignment. To make the station level easier to see at different zoom level, we have added a new option to change the way how labels are displayed. ASCII export is one of the most used features, and we're constantly improving it. In FuelGenius 8, we have added the encoding and sorting options, the ability to include the temporary averaging measurements, different GNSS time format for post-processing, as well as more selections for defining custom output formats. Instrument support is an important component to the field software. We have added and improved many GSS receiver and total station drivers from different manufacturers. 
There are many other changes and fixes, such as dynamic screen rotations, that I'm unable to cover in this video. Make sure to check out our full release note to see all the details, including bug fixes. You can also find more detailed videos on many of the features on our support pages. Thanks for watching.